Final question now. The band now includes, of course, two Englishmen, three Americans. Mm. Um, do you find that your approach uh, to the music different because of these backgrounds now? I think, uh, well, certainly as, as a, a British person, I won't say English because I'm Welsh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, power to the people. Touchy. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I think my, my vision for the band has changed, not so much because the Americans in the band, but because we're in a different era. I mean, Richie and I go back a long way, but we're in, we're in the 1980s now. And we're thinking along you know, different lines to what we did 10 years ago. Everyone changes. And what we want to do is present rock music in its best light to, to be commercially successful, at the same time to have it musically valid, to, to not lose that aggression. And I think the American influence in the band is, is maybe helping that, because American music's changed. You know, if Smoke on the Water came out now, it probably wouldn't even get played. Mm. You know, there's a different at attitude and atmosphere in America. And I think we're going after that, what's happening now. And I think the fact that we got Americans, especially Joe, his voice, is like the, the, the focal point of the band. And it's important that it's an American focal point if we want to crack America. Yeah, I think in, in addition to that, I'm a bit more conscious of being an American, you know, right outside of New York. I was born in New Jersey. Right. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. <but, laughs> well, I could name a few, but, yeah. uh, but anyway, I think I'm more conscious of that. So we always have these battles about what's artistic and what's not. And I've always had my ear to the radio, you know, American radio, right. and I was brought up on it. So coming, f as we talked before, about the English side of non-radio, actually, you know, Radio Luxembourg, for example, you know, uh, I think I added that, that bit of flavor to it. And stood my ground and said, no, no, this is, this is okay here in America. And then I learned the English side of it as well, and they learned the American side. And I think, the, yeah. again, the melting pot, uh, just as you, you yeah. love the album, so. Yeah, well, I know. do. And in fact, uh, in closing, I want to say that, and I seriously mean this, there's no hype, because I'm not inclined to do that. Otherwise, I just sit here. Oh, you're not. <laughs> no, seriously, no, I just not. sit here very nicely and go, thank you very much for coming. But I think uh, cut for cut. Uh, on this particular album, it's, it's the best album I've ever heard from d either Rainbow or Deep Purple. And if this one doesn't do it for you in America, then uh, yeah, forget it. Because, I mean, seriously, it's got to happen because it's just amazing. <laughs> cut for cut, it's the best I've ever heard mm -hmm. you doing. And we didn't even buy your lunch. No, you didn't. <laughs> but can we buy your lunch? <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Jay. Really Thank you, Jay. Okay. Pleasure.